Welcome back, folks, and good to see you again. Um, today I want to talk about plasma, and specifically the fun that you can have with plasma. Plasma, the easiest way of getting it is either by heating up something very hot or by using a high voltage. And high voltage typically heats up the air to tens of thousands of degrees centigrade and generates plasma. And plasma is just a mixture of positive and negative ions. A good example of plasma that you see every day is the sun, which is heated by nuclear fusion. So, let's begin. What's a good way of getting plasma? A good way is using what's called a flyback transformer. And here's some examples of typical flyback transformers. And these things are usually found in old computer monitors and old CRT television sets. I happen to acquire a very big one here. One of the things that's useful about these is they can generate high voltage, alternating or direct current. And with those very high voltages that are generated by these transformers, it's very easy to make plasma, specifically in the form of a plasma arc. So here are some examples of DC flyback transformers. AC flyback transformers are typically found in very much older electronics, but they can also be purchased on eBay or from a company known as AmazingOne.com. And before you get started with a flyback transformer, you need to know how to wire it up. Some of them have several leads, but they usually have one negative lead and one high voltage positive lead. So this is high voltage positive DC and it's usually the thick wire. And there are a bunch of pins on the bottom of a flyback transformer. I've covered these over in, um, in with, with, a, with a hot glue gun to reduce arcing between them. But one of these pins is usually a negative. And there are several videos out there on how to find out which are the right, right ones to connect up. Now, what you need to do is make your own primary. And I made my primary with this Litz wire. Litz wire is multi-stranded wire. And each individual strand is electronically separated from the adjacent strand. And this one has several hundred strands of wire. And what this does is it enables large amounts of current to be, uh, to flow through this primary and to generate very high voltage output on the, the secondary, which is several thousand windings in this transformer. And there's usually oil or potting material within the transformer to prevent arc over occurring internally within the transformer. Now, just how do you generate, how do you run these things? You need what's called a flyback driver. And Steve Ward has an excellent very durable and robust flyback driver that he's put together. And it's, if you look up under Google, if you just go to Steve Ward flyback driver, it'll take you right to the page and give you the circuit diagram. So this is just a simple mod on Steve Ward's circuit. And we're gonna test this out in today's video. So to begin, let's just test it out to see how well it runs. I'm putting 30 volts in from a switching power supply and I'm gonna get many thousands of volts out. So um, just a basic run through on this. You have an oscillator. This is a variable frequency oscillator which creates a square wave signal. That goes to these two chips here which are called MOSFET driver chips which generate the, take the same square wave, but output a much larger current, which is high enough to drive these MOSFETs. And this is what's called a half bridge circuit, which will provide alternating um, square wave output to whatever you want to run. In this case, it's gonna be this large flyback transformer, and the square waves are gonna go through this primary coil over here, and once the resonant or pseudo-resonant frequency of this 
transformer is achieved, you can get very, very big outputs. And that's achieved by varying the frequency with these knobs here. So frequency adjustment, fine frequency adjustment, duty cycle adjustment, and even the voltage output. I've bypassed the voltage output because we're gonna run this at the full 30 volts. So without further ado, let's begin. So Jacob's ladders are common in the old movie industry, especially on the old, in the old horror movies, you know, Frankenstein, Dracula, and that sort of thing. So let's fire this transformer up and see how our uh, flyback driver performs on this Jacob's Ladder. Now, I may have a bad connection, but all my wires may be too far spaced apart. heats up the air, what it does, it causes the air to get lighter, and as the air gets lighter, it rises and pulls the column of ionized air up. And as you can see, as the air gets warmer, it doesn't need, need me to initiate the spark anymore, it just goes by itself. So there you are, a Jacob's Ladder. Next thing we're going to try out is a homemade capacitor. So let me turn this off. A homemade capacitor is made from plastic sheet. I had these polyacetate films. These they, they were polyacetate sheets that are used in the old-fashioned overhead projectors. What I did is I just cut them up. I stuck aluminum adhesive tape on both sides. I added wires to one side and to the other side and rolled it up into a capacitor-like configuration. So what I have here, in theory, with this polyacetate sheet is a high voltage capacitor. And if you look at this, I measured the capacitance of this thing, and it's not a lot. For a capacitor th this size, 8.2 nanofarads is not a lot of capacitance. But this thing can, can store some seriously high voltages. So. Let's put it to the test. We're going to put DC output of that flyback transformer into this homemade capacitor and see what happens. Let's begin. Okay, I have it set up the way I want it. I'm using two screwdrivers to look at the uh, arc. It's going to be a very, very high powered DC arc. So let's begin. Let's turn on the flyback driver. Definitely need some UV protection for that. That is incredible. So let's see what happens when we just run a regular arc at this point. Here's some big old arc. Look at that. I do thank you for checking in and watching this video and seeing some of the interesting things you can do with high voltage plasma arcs. In this case, generated from an old flyback transformer. And uh, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in this video and similar videos. Peace out and see you later.